What's going on, folks? So I've been getting a lot of backlash lately because I made a post that Warren Buffett is responsible for the financial uh, collapse that occurred uh, in 2008. And they were basically saying, you know, what are you talking about, right? And that's fine. I like to talk about stuff that people are afraid to discuss. And... I'm going to go in detail of what I'm talking about in that regard. Uh, so I put a post out there that Warren Buffett was responsible for 2008 financial collapse. And a lot of people were like, man, you don't know what you're talking about. So Warren Buffett owned uh, Moody's. Uh, that was a company that was pretty much one of the companies that were responsible for the financial collapse. And, he owned a significant amount of shares in that company. And if you know anything about Warren Buffett, he does not invest in anything that he has not like literally analyzed, overanalyzed that company from top to bottom, from the financial reports to management uh, practices, all that. He is literally someone that is just all he focuses on is that. So when he goes home, he never focused on being a father. They're focused on cooking, cleaning. Um, you know, when his wife, um, you know, put in the book Snowfall that he was an absentee father. He didn't know how to do anything. He didn't know how to turn a light switch on. He literally would just focus all his time on stocks, business, and bridge. Let's go back to this. So Moody's uh, is what he owned along with other credit rating agencies, uh, but he owned Moody's, but along with other credit agencies, rating agencies, they contributed to the 2008 financial crisis by assigning inflated ratings to mortgage-backed securities. Um, have you studied uh, Warren Buffett's investing strategy where he emphasizes uh, thorough uh, quantitative and qualitative analysis of business and and management he's a disciple of benjamin graham intelligent investor security analysis he's a disciple of that so the responsibility falls on him as well uh and and all of this was documented regarding moody's the credit rating agency is implicated in the crisis because it assigned overly optimistic ratings to risky mortgage-backed securities and other financial products these inflated ratings misled investors about the true risk of the assets that they were purchasing and contributing to uh, the collapse of the financial institutions and the broader economic crisis. And you always hear people say, well, he bailed out, you know, folks that were affected and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, because he was responsible for it. So uh, Moody's, along with other creative rating agencies, came under scrutiny for their role in providing these misleading Ratings, which played a key part in the financial collapse. So all you got to do is go online, go on YouTube. It's still available. Warren Buffett testimony, 2008 financial crisis. I've never, for somebody as sharp as he is, he was not sharp uh, in that two hour, three hour interview of basically acting like he didn't know anything that was going on with the company he invested in. Now for somebody else, they probably can 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 get away with that, but for somebody like a Warren Buffett that literally spends numerous amount of hours in a day just focusing on businesses, what they're into, what they're about, he won't even literally invest in a company unless he knows everything about them from top to bottom. And he does not. He has something called a, a circle of competency where he only invests in things that he truly knows everything about that he's an expert in. And when he got on stand, he tried to make it seem like he didn't know any man, anything about management. But I have his book, uh, Letter to Shareholders. I think it's like a 30-year, 40-year period that it captures. And that's one of his principles of knowing, you know, a lot about management, so to speak. So, again, this is what, you know, this guy has been getting away with for, for quite some time. Um, and a lot of people don't want to believe it. A lot of people want to act like, oh, man, you know, you're just talking crazy because they always seen Warren Buffett in a positive light. But Warren Buffett is someone that, um, you know, has paid off <clears throat> a lot of people. Um, 
he's paid off a lot of people in regards to uh, never getting bad press. So, of course, you're not going to hear anything like this about him. But I've read numerous books. I've read his biography. I've read, um, read this book called Stress Test. Um, it's a book that I recommend. I learned a lot about the financial crisis. And it's crazy how Warren Buffett is, you know, kind of like associated. He gets a lot of praise in this book. But literally, the guy that wrote it didn't really do enough to show how responsible he was in this crisis, right? He owned, he had a, a large share of Moody's. Um, in the book, I want you to check out a stress test, uh, Reflections on the Financial Crisis by T uh, Timothy uh, Gaif Gaifner, who was, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, involved with the Federal Reserve uh, in that regard. And he really was, uh, you know, work, work side by side with Obama. But the involvement of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway with Moody's, particularly in the context of 2008 financial crisis, raises uh, ethical concerns for several reasons, right? Uh, complicity in misleading ratings. Moody's, like other credit rating agencies, assign high ratings to mortgage-backed securities and other complex financial products that were in reality much riskier than the ratings suggested. These misleading ratings contributed to the financial collapse as investors, banks, and financial institutions relied on them to make high stakes the decisions. Buffett, as a major shareholder in Moody's, was indirectly, right? Don't matter if indirectly or directly, he was tied to this process with some view, and I view as irresponsible or unethical, especially given his emphasis on long term investments and ethical business practices. Also, a conflict of interest. Berkshire Hathaway's investment in Moody's could be seen as a conflict of interest. Buffett is known for his ethical stance on business practices, yet his investment in the company benefiting from questionable rating practices raised concern. As a shareholder, Buffett had the power to influence or at least highlight potential issues, but his lack of direct action to change the company's operations led some to question whether he was turning a blind eye for financial gain. He made a ton of money. Also, fail failure to address the problem. While Buffett did not personally oversee Moody's um, operations as one of the company's major investors, he had an ethical responsible to ensure that the business and he knew um, operated transparently and ethically. He fa his failure to raise concerns or push for reforms reforms within the rating agency, particularly when warning signs about risky financial products were emerging, led to criticism. His hands off approach suggested that profit might have been prioritized over ethical business. Um, practices and then damage the public trust. Buffett has long been viewed as a champion of ethical investing with many looking up to him as a model of integrity in the business world. His association with Moody's during this period undermined his reputation and created a perception that even the most respected investors might be willing to tolerate or overlook unethical practices when they were financially beneficial. This damaged his public trust, not just in Buffett, but in broader financial systems as well. The financial crisis consequences, the failure of the credit rating agencies like Moody's to accurately assess the risk of financial products directly contribute to the 2008 financial crisis, which resulted in widespread economic hardships, including job losses, foreclosures, and government bailouts. Buffett's link to Moody's made him a target for critics who felt that his involvement in the company indirectly played a role in the devastation caused by the crisis. As someone known for prudence, and integrity, his relationship with such a, a firm appeared to be contradictory to the values he uh, publicly showcased. So for me, I, I think he is responsible. But again, uh, you know, when he was doing that, that that hearing, they they pressed him about it, but they could have went even harder on him in that regard. And of course, he he danced like Fred Astaire, uh, you know, when he was. Uh, you know, he was like Charlie Chaplin, Chaplin up there, um, acting like he ain't no X, Y, and Z. When this guy literally has created um, a, a reputation of career of having to know X, Y, and Z to even invest in anything. He does not invest in anything that he's not an expert in. That's his main thing. 
That's why it took him so long to start investing in, in um, you know, tech. He wanted to fully understand it first before he invested in here. He's responsible. Blood is on his hands.